day to you and cheers with a cold glass of water. It is Monday, April 13th and it is 24 degrees Celsius outside and apparently it feels like 27. So instead of going to the gym today, I'm going to go for a walk because Michael's having a sale on the linen and denim canvases and I want to make a series of three for this canvas that I did uh, when I got together with Gigi the first time. So I'm going to go get that and Michael's is literally across the street from me. So I'm going to walk there and I'm going to go get that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, this is fun. It's the uh, small dilutions journal. Little things amuse me. I have a reorganization project again for you this week. Okay. So last week I got very frustrated. My friend Kathy will laugh at that one. I got very frustrated because my paints are underneath my work surface on the other side on one of those shelves and they're in big baskets and now the baskets are overflowing and whenever I want to paint, which is almost every time that I art journal or I do a canvas, I have to take those baskets. They're very heavy. I have to put them on my work surface, which takes a lot of real estate and then I have to rummage through them and I hate that. I really hate that. There was no rhyme or reason on how they were organized. I tried to keep them by brand. That did not work. So what I did is <laughs> behind me I have sets of drawers in my uh, shelves here. In there I had stickles, liquid pearls, sprays that I don't use often, distress stains. I mean I love all these products but I don't use them on a regular basis. So what I did is I emptied all of these drawers and I grabbed all of my paints and I reorganized them by color family. Uh, I sent pictures to Gigi and she says, uh, are they organized by color? <laughs> and I said yes. She thinks I'm a nut. Anyways. I have a drawer now for yellows, oranges, reds, purples, and pinks, and then I have another one for blues and greens. Anyways, instead of explaining it all to you, I'm just going to show you because I have filmed the before and after. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is a mess. <laughs> These are my paints. They are in this basket somewhere inside there. I have my small... Um, containers of golden fluids, the little, I believe it's two ounce bottles, no one ounce bottles. So they're in there hidden, it's a big mess to rifle through all of that whenever I need paint and I use paint almost every day. I also have this bigger basket with my craft paints which I also would like to use. But the problem is now that um, I've had time to work more in my studio and I know what I reach for the most, I need to rethink my whole organizational strategy. So these paints, first of all, they're overflowing, they need a new home, and that home needs to be right next to me. So I need to relocate them in these drawers right behind me because A, the baskets are quite full, they're heavy, and when I need them, I need to take them out from underneath that space right there. That, that's where my two baskets were sitting and I need to bring them on my table and then it creates, it, it takes away from the space that I have on my work surface. So I took the drawers out here and they're out here <laughs> and I need to relocate, not this, this, this is paint, that's fine. But I need to relocate all of that stuff uh, in some other area. So I think the sprays are going to go in here and then the paints are going to move behind me. And although I do love my distress stains, um, I don't use them every day. I do use my paints every day. Same thing with my stickles. I use that mostly for card making. I don't do a lot of cards anymore. It's great to have, I'm not getting rid of them, but they will find a new place. So, I'm working on this and I will update you on my progress. Mission accomplished. 
Essentially, I took whatever I had in my drawers, uh, most of it anyways, because I, I have left some in my drawers because I had enough space. But this was the overflow. So I have all my distress stains here. They are arranged by color. I love how they all fit nice and snug in there, five by five, so I can put 25 in each of these uh, partitions. And then I have my color blooms in here, and then I have the Viva Decor Pearl Pens. I did not put them standing up because I didn't have enough, um, so they kept falling off, so I just decided to leave them like that. On that big basket here, I have my Dilution sprays. I'm gonna have to rig something on the cap so that I can tell which colors they are because it bothers me to have to lift them up all the time, so I will work on that. And then I have the uh, leftover, actually these are my dilution sprays. So there's a batch here and then this is uh, the white and the black and the brown and then the off uh, sprays like the memories mists and this Adirondack color wash. Then I have my SEI tumble dye sprays. And that tray right here fits on top of the big basket. Let's see if I can do this one handed. It's a little tricky, but I was able to, look, they're so cute. I was able to put all uh, my liquid pearls and my stickles with um, some of those glitter pens by Viva Decor. And also these are nail polishes that I decided to use. They're glitter nail polishes, so I put them in the back. I also have like um, the ice stickles, remember those? I'm not sure that they still make them, but anyways. So they're all neatly stacked in there. And so these will go underneath my table, uh, my work surface. And let me show you my drawers now. Okay, so the drawers that I'm referring to, as you have seen earlier, they're just behind my work surface on my table. So what I did is I assigned a drawer for a color family as opposed to brand. Um, because before I used to keep my goldens together, my liquid tax together, now they're all by color. So in the first drawer, I have yellows, oranges, reds, pinks, and purples. And they are not like super organized, but I don't care. Because when what I can do is I can just like take that basket or the basket, that drawer, and put it in my work surface if I really need to rummage through the back. And then underneath here I have blues and greens and I'm sure I'm gonna get more eventually but I like the fact that I have a little bit of room to grow and then I have my um, neutrals in white and, and, and black again I have mixed I have golden I have you know the Delta ceramic coat and the big jars and tubes in the back and then underneath here I have all my metallics and I did decide to keep two brands separate because I, when I use them I don't mix them with anything else. So I have the PBO's, um, what are they called these ones, the fluorescent ones and the iridescent ones. Uh, the Dyna ones they're called and then here I have all the other metallic paints so I have several brands so these are metallics and the PBOs this drawer was pretty much stayed pretty much the same uh, again Dina Wakeley's paints I have not separated them by colors because when I use Dina paint Dina's paints I use Dina's paints because it's the colors that I have from that collection is sufficient enough and then I also have the paint uh, daubers so I have distress paints and uh, the Adirondack paint daubers in here and in that drawer I've also kept the sprays that I use most often so all my Heidi Swap color shines I have gold uh, silver and pewter uh, tinsel and pewter these are the only ones that I have or bronze and then um, I have the perfect pearls and pewter and heirloom gold this drawer stayed the same I decided to keep my alcohol inks and the India inks in that drawer and then here are my reinkers uh, from Stampin' Up, which I did not keep the stamp pads, but I kept the refills because you can paint, you can do all kinds of stuff with that, and I intend to use them uh, very soon. So that is my brand new revamped reorg. <laughs> 
for my studio. I'm very happy with it. I can't wait to see if it really works, but I'm pretty sure it will because uh, this is where I work and this is where the paint is. I'm so happy with my new setup. So now I can just like, can I do it? Oh, a score. I can just open the drawer, pick up the paint, use it in my project, put it back. Oh, makes me happy. Whenever I can be more productive, it just makes me happy. I know I'm a nerd. Don't judge me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to some of you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And you can follow me on all my social medias down below. And you can also leave questions and comments down below. And I will see you later. Bye. I still can't reach.